Hello everyone, welcome back to Professor Layton and the Curious Village. We're still hunting down this cat. We've, I think we're at like the last part of actually getting it, which would be nice. We've got this person now who's new to talk to. Adria. That guy gets so worked up, he turns red like a tomato. He looks so dumb. Okay, well, thank you for your insight. Is there anything else here that we, um... Oh, there's this... We can enter here. I didn't think about that. I never know what we're going to be doing in a given day. Jeez, my voice went really crazy there. Flick. I remember this one being hard when I was a kid. I don't remember what the pu puzzle is, but I remember having trouble with it. So I hear you two are into puzzles. I can tell. It's obvious in the way you're ogling these coins. Is that a puzzle thing? You can smell it, can't you? Well, you're right. There's a puzzle in these coins. Have a look. Twenty-five collateral triangle, twenty-five pick rats. In the drawing below, ten coins are arranged to form an equilateral triangle. The triangle is pointing up right now, but you can get it to point down by moving three of the coins. Move coins around by sliding them with your stylus. When you're satisfied with the position, tap the submit icon. Oh, okay, yeah, no, this one is not tricky at all. I don't know how precise it is, but like that, right? Yeah, okay. Well, that's the puzzle, I guess. There we go. I just kind you just kind of look at it and you yeah. All right, Critical cool. thinking is the key to success. Yeah, you just look like how they overlap as much as possible. Yep, just as I thought. You guys are a bunch of puzzle nuts. Thanks, buddy. Thanks for the gizmo. St. Mystery is full of puzzle lovers like you two. Not all of them are nice like me. Watch your back. Okay, you got another piece of dialogue? Or... Yeah, sorry, I don't have a puzzle for you now. I'll have one for you next time we bump into each other. Alright, how about the other guy there? The bartender or whatever. Crouton? That's an unfortunate name. Hey, this is your first time here, isn't it? If you're looking for a warm meal and a hot cup of tea, you've come to, right, to the right place. What's that behind you on the shelf? Like, that looks like wine to me. Strangers should be so empty if the food's as good as you say. It's kind of rude to point out, Luke. Hey now, boy, no need to be snippy. That's just how the restaurant business is. There are times when the place is packed and times when things are quiet. If it was always the lunch rush, how would I ever prepare food for the rest of the day? Oh, his face shifts by a lot between expressions. Like, I don't know if I was just not looking at it right, but it looked like it jumped. Weirdly. Oh, and speaking of preparation, I got myself a little problem on my hands. You see, I've got to divide this eight-quarter pitcher of juice into two equal proportions. Hover. For the life of me, I can't seem to find my measuring cup. I wonder if there's some way I could do it using these five and three quart pitchers I found. A very subtle setup for a puzzle here. Here we have an empty eight quart pitcher filled with juice, an empty five quart pitcher, and an empty three quart pitcher. The pitchers are unmarked, and your task is to divide the eight quarts of juice at the both the five quart pitcher and the eight quart pitcher are holding exactly four quarts. Touch a picture to pick it up. To move its contents, tap the picture where you'd like the liquid to go. Alright, so we want four essentially. Five minus three is two, so like if we tap this one and then like that. That's two, right? So if we go like this, I mean, that we can do minus one, right? That's not how I thought to do it, but five uh, minus one gets us four. And there we go. Seven moves. There we go. 
you just kind of tap things. Like I said, it's one of those ones uh, too. I do think where you can't lose picker rats. It just takes long enough. Yep. Shortest is seven moves. All right, good. Ah, so that's how it's done. Great thinking. Thanks a lot. If I have ever troubles like these again, would you mind if I call on you for help? Oh, yeah, kind of. I, I do have things to do with my life, buddy. Anything else here? Oh, I got hit a coin. Is this one going to be a puzzle because it's blue? Nope, that's not how it works. Okay. Anything else at all here? Oh. Business looks slow right now. Yeah, you said that, Luke. I'm guessing he's not gonna have anything for me here. Could I interest you in a beverage? I've got great sandwiches too. Okay, well. Like we're supposed to um oh we can move on. Do you have anything more, Polly, is it? Yeah. Oh this time I'm just livid. It. It's just too much to take. The needle on my wrath meter is completely buried. This is a different voice, I think, than before. Why am I so worked up, you ask? It's this blast puzzle. I've been trying to work it out since yesterday. I, I just can't get it, and it has me so steamed I can't sleep. You stupid jerk of a puzzle. I, come here and take a look, will ya? Alright, I guess this is today. Pills, that's scary. Three pick rats. A man has been prescribed 10 pills. Starting today, he must take one pill a day, but because the concentration of the medicine is different in each pill, he must take them in a specific order. Since the pills all look the same, the man has decided the right numbers on each pill to help him remember the order he needs to take them in. How many pills does he have to number if he wants to keep track of the order? So I think the idea is that he, he doesn't need to keep track of the one that he's taking, and he doesn't, and you don't need to mark like, you know, like if you're marking them all here, you don't need to mark uh, this one either. So that leaves you with eight. I think that's the answer. Depends on how technical they want to get with it, but I. There we go. I think yeah. All right. Another puzzle Good. solved. Sorry. Open the water bottle again audibly. Oh, those are giant pills, I gotta say. That's like, those things are gonna be like, at least a full pound each. What were you thinking, man? And here I was ready to solve it all by myself. Why do you have to go and ruin everything? The nerve. But with that puzzle solved, I can finally sleep again. So I guess I owe you guys one. Thanks. I know you both have your work cut out for you, so good luck, yeah. Well, we're... Getting gizmos, if nothing else. You have anything new to say? Andrea? No. Cool, I don't know what your function in the story is, but... At the park gate. So you kind of light those garbage wherever he pleases. That's, that's good, Luke. That filthy jar reminds me of a puzzle I once heard. How? Okay, yep, no effort into this uh, setup. Sure, whatever. Bottle full of germs. Have a puzzle. Who cares? A glass jar holds a single germ. After one minute, the germ splits into two germs. One minute after that, the two germs each split again, forming a total of four germs. Continuing at this rate, a single jar can multiply to fill the whole jar in exactly one hour. Knowing this, how long minutes would it take to fill the jar if you had started with two germs? Well, it's exponential, right? So you're saving, uh, one minute, right? So it's like 59, is my guess. It's not like half, because it's not linear, right? Is the joke here? Yeah. Alright. Pretty straightforward. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You're spot on. Excellent job. This jar is actually kind of neat. Why don't we take it with us? What? But, my boy, it's covered in grime. 
Hmm, what's that? Something's hidden inside the jar. I think you're right. Luke, reach a hand in and see what's inside, will you? You, Your hands can get dirty through child hands. Okay, painting scrap, that's cool, that is something. I don't want to interact with the cat because I'm pretty sure that's going to do something, so we'll leave that till next time. You might just call it a bit shorter here, Reinhold Park. Open 10 a.m., shut 5 p.m. That's the Ferris wheel back there. This park is so overgrown, it looks more like a forest. Yeah, I don't want to cat right now. So, I mean, we have a few things to do here in our uh, trunk. I like, there's no puzzle with this dog. You just kind of tap on what you get and it slowly starts to form the shape of the dog. Okay, this, uh, is this not the same? Like how jittery my, um, drawing tablet is. Like, I, I'm literally, it's pressed firmly in place, not moving at all. I mean, it could... <laughs> gonna be something like uh, oh yeah I, I could line them up like that I'm trying to get them like like there's obviously like gonna be next to each other but something like that would make sense right for the window frames to line up oh yeah okay maybe a bit of a shorter one but Pokemon was brutal today anyways so We'll call it here, I guess. How how long? Do we, Thirteen minutes. That's not, that's not bad, right? I mean, I think the end game timer is a bit off, but anyways, we're we're making progress here. As always, uh, thank you for watching.